Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> that will make the outtakes. <laughs> Welcome to Talk Tennis today. I'm so excited to be joined with Olivier from Babla. We are going to talk all about the Pure Arrow. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for the invitation. It's yes. a pleasure. pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's always exciting when you guys get to come and hang out with us because obviously it's a it's a long journey. <laughs> yeah, it's a long journey for us. Yeah. Um, but today we're going to talk all about the Pure Arrow, which is a lot of people's favorite racket, racket franchise. But before we get into that, you are the head of global marketing for Babylon, correct? Group marketing manager for expert, expert products, which okay. means racket strings and a ecosystem on string machine. Awesome. So what exactly does that mean? Like what's a day to day? What are you doing in your job? We analyze, I would say, needs for um, club players and pro players as well. Uh, so the game evolution and what we can bring in terms of modifications to uh, to the racket. How can 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 we work on the on frames and the combination between frame and strings. So we analyze the market, we analyze uh, the consumer and then we work on uh, with, with Maxim here on the development of products. So we have a project team. So with uh, R&D guys, with supply, with uh, innovation. So then we manage the development of, uh, of the product to make sure that when we launch a racket, it fits and suits perfectly players' needs. Awesome. That yeah. sounds amazing. And how long have you been with Babylon? Oh, I've been there for a couple of years. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, 19 years. 19 years? 19 oh my years, gosh. Yes. How did you, where did you start and how did you get to where you are? Uh, <clears throat> I started uh, in the marketing department mm -hmm. as a product manager for grip accessories, boards, and, and stringing machine. Then I moved to the French subsidiary for two years, work on the promotion, communication, partnership, scouting. Uh, and then I worked seven years for a sports marketing department in the international team in charge of scouting. So players like like Felix, um, so we, we we met each other a very very long time ago. Wow! So um, for seven years, and then I moved to the export department uh, as an um, export manager, so sales and, and trade manager, and I'm back in marketing now, okay. so the marketing team. So what would you say is the coolest part of your job now? I would say it's um, <clears throat> we we deal with many topics. I would say mm -hmm. it's. it's uh, we work on products. We analyze the players' needs. It's um, yeah, it's not a routine. I would say it's, mm -hmm. uh, we we do many things, and uh, yes, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, very pretty exciting. Nice. Yeah. That's what I I love about my job too. It's yeah. like not any day is like the other day. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> okay. Well, before we get into the pure arrow, I also thought it would be a good idea if you could kind of talk a little bit about some of the delays that we've been seeing in the industry, specifically with Babylon, since our consumers and you have dealt with it, I've dealt with it. Maybe just speak about that process process and how long it actually takes for things to get made and then delivered and why there's been a little bit of a hiccup this year. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so thanks for asking. It's a good question. And um, the process is complex, especially uh, after the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. So it was um, it was quite difficult. Uh, I think when, when uh, everything started two years ago, I think it's uh, the main racket manufacturers are, are, are located in Asia. So it's um, Asia was impacted first and then Europe and US. And so it, it, it had an impact on the production uh, capacities. And then even for us, I think we uh, we didn't know how long could it last. So I think it was tough to manage stock uh, or orders. And uh, and so it it, uh, it put a lot of stress on the on the supply chain. Uh, and it's still, I think it's, it's very difficult to predict the, the, the future. And mm -hmm. so that's why it's uh, it's difficult. And then, um, so products are made in, uh, in Asia it means then, you know, the, the sea traffic, it's, uh, it's very uh, it's, uh, heavy. And so it's very difficult to, uh, to book uh, a container, uh, I would say to, <laughs> to have uh, room in containers. And then, so we need to anticipate, uh, especially any shipments. And we face as well some, some constraints with the raw material, uh, which is difficult as well. And even suppliers and, uh, and um, other companies that worked with, with suppliers, they are impacted as well. So it can generate some delays and and then from 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 the i would say the, the suppliers to the to, to the to the end, end users it's a it's a lot of a let's say process and 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 steps and then at every steps i think it's a, yeah it's a challenge and it's 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 very difficult to to manage so we anticipate the demand as much as we can mm -hmm. i know that's uh, 
internally we we are doing our best and here in the us uh, it's it's a it's a long process so we, we work on it i think um, it's a big challenge now uh, the demand is so high mm -hmm. <laughs> that we cannot uh, meet all the demand which is a quite frustrating for us too i yeah. think <laughs> we, I mean, the, the goal for us is to supply, I would say, the, the racket to tennis lovers. So I think mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's frustrating for us, but yeah, we are doing our best. And I think it should get back to normal in, um, in, in the coming month. I think in 2023 should, should be, should be okay. Uh, second part of this yeah, year. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. But, um, we're going to talk a little bit about how you create an update to a franchise of rackets. And yeah. I think this is actually going to be very insightful for many people listening because a lot of us just say like, oh, you know, the Pure Arrows do for an update next year or whatnot. And they don't realize how much actual time yeah. goes into the development of these new products. And even we got to test something that's not going to come out for a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. And you're telling us that like, oh, we got to have it finalized in the next couple of months. That's crazy. Yeah. So generally... It takes two years. Okay. With with a new pure aero, we started quite two years ago mm -hmm. uh, in, in in this process. So what what we do, uh, I would say first is we we analyze um, uh, I would say the game and and players' expectations. So we have a, a strong network globally. So with uh, uh, of course players, mm -hmm. uh, so pure aero players, mm -hmm. uh, coaches key opinion leaders as well, or you, you and, uh, and we, we talked to for, 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 for some projects, but yeah. some, uh, some big uh, clients and uh, web dealers. And we try to get um, the feedback from all, all of this, I would say the, the, the pure aero community and mm -hmm. people uh, using the racket and um, to analyze what works well, uh, what, what we, we, we could improve. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we prepare a brief for R&D mm -hmm. to, uh, to give some guidelines about the playability and about the design as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, so this is the first step to prepare the, to prepare the brief. We, uh, we are in contact as well with pro players, uh, for sure. It's uh, like a laboratory for us too, yeah. too. Of course, club players are very important. We, we worked as well with pro players and, uh, they are very sensitive. Mm -hmm. They play like five hours a day. Yeah. So, <laughs> so they, they are very sensitive for some, some aspects and, uh, and it's very interesting for us. The second step is, um, we, we work on the competition analysis. Mm -hmm. So what all the different brands can propose in different segments. So we analyze uh, the, the, the racket, we analyze uh, uh, the game evolution as well, just, just to make sure that we identify some benchmark and maybe some, what, what, what we could improve, I think, to, uh, so this is, this is something in the process that is important too. Uh, we keep a challenge of spirit every time. And so we, we question yourself. So, so it's very important. Then when, when it's done, so we, we prepare a brief. So we know where we want to go. And then we, uh, we work with a performance lab. So it means we work on some prototypes. And then with the performance lab, it's a group of uh, 20, 20 players that are trained to, uh, to, to test, uh, rackets every week wow. so they are they are trained and very skilled just to perceive some criteria like uh, uh, the, the, the the power the, the control the feel and comfort so many criteria so we have a clear definition on that they are skilled and so they can express what what they feel mm -hmm. and we just make sure that it, it match perfectly the laboratory results mm -hmm. so they see we have laboratory results and then we check we check with them so then during the development, this is the last step. We uh, carry some survey, and so we 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 test the the the, the racket. Uh, we say like a quantitative test. So mm -hmm. with a lot of players, so we we define uh, a persona, mm -hmm. so a, a group of players that are identified to be the pure aero players, yeah. and then uh, we test with with those players the benefits. So in in a, in a quantitative way and a qualitative too. It's like focus group. So we check the, I would say the speech uh, on uh, yeah technologies and marketing marketing speech, just to understand if if it's clear for them, if the benefits is obvious and and is perceived. So this is very important. And so this is I would say the final step. And when everything is done and is approved, mm -hmm. so by the player target, then uh, the racket is ready. So, wow. <laughs> and about how many rounds of samples or like different models it, it, do you try? It, it, it depends. Yeah. I uh, I think we should have 
like we have three, oh, I think three, uh, three, three, three right. runs. Yeah, three <laughs> runs. But, but you know, the, the preparation period is very long. It's very yeah. long. And then, yeah, we go through the different runs. Sometimes it's challenging, mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, because we know with, uh, with COVID-19 as well. So, right. so it's um, to organize tests or uh, even to get some, some samples. So, it's, uh, so we have to anticipate. Mm -hmm. And that long process yes, takes two years. Okay, so from there, who do you guys see as the pure arrow player? Who is this person? Yeah, so this is a person that needs, I would say, spin and wants spin to dominate the game. And so this is uh, the, uh, the why we created that that racket. So spin is important for 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 this uh, category of players, and then we identified uh, different segment, different group of players. That's using use a spin. Mm -hmm. um, we could say the first one is a what we call the fast fast spin. Yeah. So it's a, a group of players that play the ball early. Uh -huh. uh, they keep the baseline. They play the ball early. They expect and they need spin to uh, I would say to secure trajectories and and reach sharp angles, and then uh, uh, go in the court. Come come to the net finish the points. Mm -hmm. uh, so spin is important to reach sharp angles and op open up the court. I would say the second group of players is what we could call the strong spinners. Okay. So it's a group of um, aggressive baseliner, punchers. Mm -hmm. They expect, I would say, from the spin to, to secure, they hit really hard. Okay. So it's, it's, this is the largest group of players. Okay. You know, yeah. And, uh, and, and uh, they hit the ball really hard and Spin is important to secure, to secure them, to get the ball in. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, so that's why it's important. And in this category, we identify different two categories. It's uh, the first one is uh, players that have a natural strength, mm -hmm. so they hit really hard, and so they will need a maybe a bit, a bit more control. So okay. we, and and uh, and and the other one. Uh, they don't have yet the natural strength. Okay. So they expect from the racket to generate a bit more, maybe power and ball rotation. Mm -hmm. So we worked, and maybe we talk later about this, but this is a differentiation with, we, uh, I would say we, we've brought on, on the, on the new, uh, on the new Pure Aero. Yeah. Because it was really important. We, we are consumer centric. It's very important. And, um, yeah, we identified this. And so we went much further than just propose a different weight and balance. Okay. So, frames and are, are different. What did you guys identify as some of the things that needed to be updated for the new Pure Arrow and how does that manifest in the new lineup? Yeah, then um, in, in the process when we prepared the, the brief, so we identified I was internally and uh, we checked some reviews. So you, you <laughs> as, as we talked, as we talked, as we talked yesterday. Yeah. So uh, uh, we checked some reviews and so it's important to, uh, yeah, to gather all different elements from uh, people, players, and, 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 and your reviews. And so we identified some some criteria to uh, to, to improve, um, like uh, feel, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we identified this. So we worked on, on technology that provide a, a great uh, a great feel. And uh, we identified as well for what we talked, the, the, the category of strong spinner with a mm -hmm. natural strength. Mm -hmm. we, we noticed that they would expect a better power control ratio mm -hmm. or control power ratio mm -hmm. so a bit, a bit a bit more control maybe so that's why we worked uh, on a specific uh, string pattern for example uh, to provide that that perfect balance nice. uh, control power ratio yeah um may, well let's talk about the models let's start with the well, you can you can tell us you can introduce the models. This is your baby. <laughs> yeah, I would say it's. Uh, so we are working on a, on a, the eighth generation wow. of the Pure Arrow. So That's it's, crazy. It's been a long time. Yes, almost twenty years. So it's a it's a strong franchise. Yeah, it's a strong franchise for uh, for for Babola. Yeah, it's a, the racket got a lot of successes. I would say on tour and in clubs too, huh? but uh, yes, I would say the first one, we say yes. this one, it's uh, uh, this one is, is a kind of special because uh, this is uh, the model that Rafa played and won the first the first French Open in 2005. Wow. So I would say, yes, everything uh, started uh, with, with this one. 
this one yes got a lot of success and got very famous yes so it's yeah it's very special yeah. we say in, uh, in in the pure aero uh, history yes <laughs> then i yeah i see this one this one is a, a model in 2013 mm -hmm. we see the cortex here uh this one is what was the best seller okay i was uh, gonna say i remember even yeah. years after people are yeah. still like do you have the old apd <laughs> yeah so the apd 13 is was very very good racket um i think we we managed to reach the perfect i would say control power ratio with, mm -hmm. with, with this racket okay of course it's uh it, it generates pin so we have some technology like like woofer to increase uh, the, the trampoline effect um yes and in terms of playability that racket was really good mm -hmm. and uh and cool design and so yes it's uh it was it was the best bestseller yes yeah I think when people hear um, arrow or APD, that might be the one that they first see in their head. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of players are uh, yeah, nostalgic for, for uh, yes. Uh, this project, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, I would say this one, it's, uh, it's uh, the, the other current one, uh, Pure Aero 2019. Mm -hmm. Very cool one. I think it, it's that generation of racket, we integrated uh, what we call IO modular technology. So we integrated a uh, plastic part. Okay. Uh, into, into the, the frame to reduce, I would say, um, frictions in the air and so to have a, a racket, racket speed uh, and, and, and a, a faster swing. So we worked, uh, we worked on this. And it, on this generation of racket, we worked on the string pattern too. It's, it's a little bit more open. Okay. Um, so we know it generates uh, more power and spin. So this is part of a Another segment of the spin, what we call AV spin, we'll talk maybe later about that. Mm -hmm, but, uh, mm -hmm. but yes, it's uh, the string pattern is a bit different here, and some technologies for uh, for feel uh, like uh, smack. So the filtration or vibration, it's uh, it's important too. So to uh, players still need a feedback in the, in the hand. Mm -hmm. um, so we work on this to have uh, the perfect filtration okay. of, of vibrations to provide the the, the, the perfect feel. So there, this one is uh, is doing well too. Yeah, and it's uh, is, is 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 a very good one. Do you and, want to talk uh, about the VS? Uh, yeah, That's the VS. Yeah. yeah. So the <laughs> so the VS, you know, VS is is a very famous uh, yes. product. Yes. Yes. Like, it it means it means a lot. It refers to the string, which is a handmade product, which is a the the the, the very iconic string for 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 the brand. So VS means here um, for rackets. Uh, it's it's racket that are dedicated for precision. Okay. Precision I mean it's a uh, we work on the on specific head size. So this mm -hmm. one it's a uh, it's a ninety eight. Mm -hmm. So we uh, we worked on this frame from uh, from scratch. I think it's a uh, we it, it was quite a long process uh, with pro players with club players uh, to define the perfect specs, the perfect stiffness, the string pattern. Yes, I think to bring a uh, spin first spin and precision. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it works well for players that plays quite early, mm -hmm. uh, need a bit of uh, spin, of course, but precision and control. Uh, and yeah, this one is, uh, is quite famous at, at, at this time. I, think. I was <laughs> going to say, maybe yeah. you could talk about a couple of the players that are endorsing this racket. In yeah, well, of course. Uh, so the, 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 yeah, there is a big momentum on with, uh, with uh, <laughs> Carlos Alcaraz, right. uh, of course. Um, yeah, Carlos is doing an amazing, uh, I would say, yes. se se season. <laughs> so, uh, of course, um, so Carlos, uh, he plays really hard. It's very hard and plays early. So it's, um, it's, it's great. And uh, we have some uh, some of those, some young guys, especially uh, Olyar Rune, yes. uh, for example, yes. from from, uh, from Denmark, uh, plays play with this uh, with this racket. So it's a, uh, yeah, it's a, um, it's a good racket, very good racket with a, uh, specific uh, benefits mm -hmm. on the spin precision control and um yeah it's getting uh, it's getting popular, popular <laughs> people popular. are wanting yeah, to try yeah, it yeah. which kind of leads us i guess to the are we calling these 2022 or 2023 pure arrows 2020 yeah we said 2023 i think this yeah. is the, uh, also <laughs> so the eighth the, the eighth generation Everything. it's uh yeah yeah it's with um new cosmetics so we worked um you know, first on the on the finish, so it's quite quite different from the previous version. So we are here in the glossy finish to have even, even more contrast uh, between the dark gray and, and and the yellow. So mm -hmm. it's a it's a kind of we say 
on the design is kind of fragments. Okay. It yeah, means like uh, it's it's a what we call the disrupting fragmentation. It's a, we wanted to have a, some a design very urban, um, very contemporary, uh, and so we express with, with this uh, the like with fragments like a, like a storm like um, the spin can 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 generate rotations. And it means so a storm and um, an RPM. So we worked on this and. Uh, uh, for, for for the design, we still have the the, the franchise here on the, on the racket shaft, uh, and then yes, we, as I said, we worked on some differences between the be, be, between uh, I would say the heaviest model to the to the lightest one. Mm -hmm. uh, we worked on the on the stiffness and, uh, and and the string pattern. So the stiffness is a bit lower for for the 300 grams, and the string pattern is a bit tighter. Okay. Uh, compared to the lightest version, yes. to the pure aero light and pure aero team. So yeah, this one is dedicated for players that hit the ball hard, expect some spin to secure the the ball trajectories to get the ball in. We are we are, we are quite proud. It was it was it was a long and long process for for this racket, but it looked that yeah we we tested it and uh, pretty well perceived. So yeah, let's see let's see in a few months. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the flax fibers that you guys are using in this racket. Which yeah. From what I'm understanding, is a really good dampening material. But how did Babylon decide that this was a, what yeah. they wanted to use? How did you discover it? We we have an innovation department. They work on different options. Uh, they they work out of the box. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we we knew that um, flax is used in other uh, uh, sports like um, sailing, okay. like uh, skateboarding. Uh, surfing with the board. Uh, we know that it it was very important. Um, I would say uh, and, and a perfect uh, compromise because it has, as you said, a very good dampening uh, properties mm -hmm. and then uh, mechanical resistance. Okay. Oh, so nice. This, this is this is the perfect uh, fibers to combine kind of filtration absor uh, absorption mm -hmm. uh, and properties and and mechanical resistance. So. Uh, combined with carbon fibers, it's it's uh, it's really good. Wow. It's, it's perfect. So this is after many tests, we identify this and uh, and we we located in different uh, areas mm -hmm. uh, fibers on the flax fibers on the racket, which has an impact on the on on the degrees of the level of filtration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is how we we worked for 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 this. So we worked on yeah some options to have a. Uh, Flax at uh, three and nine for mm -hmm. for the for the pure ninety eight, and here flags in uh, three and nine and racket handles, okay. and then for th for for the lightest models we we ke we've kept the what we call the smack mm -hmm. which is a viscoelastic elastic material to have uh, even more I would say uh, dampening vibrations, and uh, yeah for this category of players they don't need that much uh, I would say feel mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. so uh, so that's why we, we worked on this to have a different level of filtration yes okay depending Perfect. on the on, on the category of players yeah um one of the questions that i think might get asked and i know even around my office we are asking that stiffness rating can be very um sometimes we always say oh that pure arrow is a stiff racket is it going to be a very noticeable difference in feel on first hit for someone that's like felt like maybe the pure arrow was too stiff in the past maybe this one's for me are they going to notice that that feeling from that flax fiber Does yeah that makes sense yeah <laughs> okay. right. no it makes sense actually yes flax <laughs> it, it has a, it, it has an impact on the on, on the on the stiffness Yes, we decided to uh, to bring a little bit more control and so mm -hmm. to reduce just a little bit the, the the stiffness for the 300 grams, the plus and and the pure aero 98. Mm -hmm. But then yes, the the, the stiffness can bring uh, uh, stability mm -hmm. and uh, generate more string movement. Mm -hmm. So it brings, I would say, the stability for sure. And you have some rackets that are very easy to play with. Mm -hmm. It's like an easy power. So that's why with the we know it with, with the lightest version, which means we target some players that don't have a very long swing, very fast swing, uh, with, with the lightest uh, model. So we know that if we are a little bit stiffer, the racket can help for the stability and can help to generate more swing movement and generate a bit more ball rotation. Right. Yeah, we worked on this and we we have a differentiation between the, the different models in terms of stiffness. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's kind of clear things up. So the 
Pure Arrow VS will no longer be moving forward because there will be a Pure Arrow 98. Yes. Correct? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah, this is the evolution of the of the Pure Arrow VS. So we, we call it Pure Arrow 98, which is obvious for the, the, the head size. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the same, I would say, base. Huh? So uh, we we worked on the on the filtration. Uh, we, we integrated some, some, some flag fibers in the racket for a very good um, feel. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would say it's uh, it's an update, but but for sure the base it's uh, it's the pure ROVS, and so we know that that racket will be uh, very uh, very famous. Uh, mm -hmm. I would say with uh, with some guys within it, <laughs> so we expect a, a strong endorsement on this. Yeah, I think this is a racket with the specifications that are dedicated for players that keep the baseline, mm -hmm. get in the court, mm -hmm. plays early, and use uh, the ball speed instead of some others that generate the power by themselves, they use the ball speed, they play fast, actually. Mm -hmm. This is what we call the fast spinner and dedicated to fast spinner. So they, they don't leave time to the opponent. So, so we worked on this racket to really uh, uh, provide uh, control and precision and, and meet those, uh, I would say, players' mm -hmm. expectations. Well, let's just talk real quick about the two of the lighter models as well the light and the team who are those going to be great rackets for and what characteristics have changed if anything in the, uh, the update yeah so uh, for the lightest version so um, we, we we've kept a kind of open string pattern because we know that it can generate uh, a bit more power and ball rotation mm -hmm. so very good for players that don't have a very fast swing and uh, oh, yet but um, it's a racket that it's a bit stiffer uh, and we we've, we've kept the viscoelastic material uh, mm -hmm. to have a very good filtration of the uh, of, uh, of the vibration. So there is still a good feel, uh, some feedback in, in in the head in the head. But uh, yeah, the racket is uh, is uh, designed to generate, I would say, power and spin. Um, so which is important for uh, for that category of players. And we checked when when we analyzed and during focus group, uh, we had different categories of players. And um, yet it was, uh, you, you, can play, you can play a bit deeper, mm -hmm. uh, you have some curved trajectories. And so it helped a lot players that expected or had, had the intention to be like a strong, a strong spinner. Yeah. And they want to hit hard, but they don't have the, the body yet or the natural strength. So that's why the racket can help for that. And then they will have a, a transition and they will move to the 300 grams, which is a uh, heavier and so I have different characteristics. Yeah, I love those rackets for like the younger kids that are like just trying to like yeah. figure out their game, get their yeah. stroke mechanics. It's a good option. Yeah. Awesome. OK, well, there's something else we have to talk about. Um, I feel like there's like a next gen of Babylon players coming and yeah. maybe we can talk a little bit about the players that are really going to be endorsing this Pure Arrow line and how there might be a player that we're used to seeing with the Pure Arrow that might not be included in this one. Yeah, so um, actually, when when we uh, we analyzed uh, the game, mm -hmm. we noticed there is there is today an evolution. Uh, we we see a, a generation of players, a new generation of players. So mm -hmm. Felix, Carlos, uh, Leila Fernandez, mm -hmm. uh, they are part of, of this generation that play early. Mm -hmm. They keep they keep the baseline, um, and and we see that evolution. And so we worked and on, on some specifications and rackets. Uh, to provide them with a perfect answer. Mm -hmm. We know that uh, we checked in clubs as well with, uh, with, with players, and we know that this evolution is, uh, is still, uh, I would say, very present and, and the same in, in clubs for uh, competitive players in clubs. That's why we dedicated, I would say, the, for, the, for what we call the fast spinners and mm -hmm. the strong spinners, mm -hmm. the, the design and, uh, I would say, and, and, and the racket for for this uh, generation, but then you you were maybe referring to uh, to uh, to Rafa. So mm -hmm. Ra Rafa <laughs> Rafa is there for for sure. Rafa is a is a is a great ambassador for the brand, and it's he, he embodies I would say the, the the most I would say the spin and the ball rotation, the RPM. So we we treat it in a like holistic way. So Rafa is still is part of the spin segment, mm -hmm. but Rafa today he has his own connection mm -hmm. and his own segment. Rafa, when we talk about Rafa, we talk about heavy spin. Mm -hmm. It's a really, really 
high ball rotations, RPM, we say e heavy balls, uh, so it's a spin and, and, and power. So we created in the spin, is in the spin segment, mm -hmm. so the fast categories, fast spinner, strong spinner, and the last one is a heavy spin, which is a, yeah, dedicated to Rafa. So Rafa is there, of course, but we differentiate the product, and, and uh, we'll talk maybe later about this, but <laughs> he has his own collections, and uh, we are working on the, on, on the next one to really have something that uh, is uh, identified to Rafa. And, uh, and his game for sure. But Rafa for sh is still there mm -hmm. for the spin segment and uh, he will be there. I think Rafa is uh, an iconic player and he embodies, I would say, the most of the spin and it, it will actually for, for years. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's why we treat it in different ways. So some, some products for a new generation with a new type of game, mm -hmm. new expectations for spin and, and in the spin segment, Heavy spin, very dedicated to uh, to Rafa and people that that want to play like Rafa mm -hmm. and to have heavy spin and, and, <laughs> and, and board rotations. Nice, I like that. Um, do you have any fun stories about testing with some of these players that will be endorsing the new Pure Arrows? Yeah, it's um, so you know it was a bit challenging with the COVID nineteen. Oh yeah. So, you know, sometimes <laughs> it's uh, it's quite difficult to travel. It's difficult uh, when when we we do tests. So the the sports marketing team they. They've done a, a great job, yeah. honestly, a great job on that. Um, some players tested the racket, so we had a uh, shooting at Indian Wells. Okay, uh, so yeah. Some of them yeah. <laughs> tested and uh, and played with uh, with some rackets in uh, uh, at Indian Wells. It was really well perceived. Mm -hmm. They loved mm -hmm. <laughs> the the cosmetic and the, and the playability. So uh, we tested before in the process, but yeah, it's quite well perceived. Uh, we are working on uh, on rackets, so mm -hmm. they. they the target is to have, uh, I would say, the, the, the world visibility during the US Open Series this year. Yeah. So in August. Uh, so yes, we'll be ready for that. Nice. So. That's awesome. I'm excited. Um, also, something that I love that you guys have been doing pretty consistently, and it's not necessarily your, your category, but it's like bags will be there. But where will for we have trail. footwear? Yeah, like head to toe, right? Yeah, for yeah. sure. No, it's important. I think uh, we we started some years ago, so we know it's uh, we work on color story. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we we don't provide just only rackets. I think we 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 worked and we we highlight I was the the, the combination between racket and strings, mm -hmm. which is important. So we know that RPM rough with this kind of racket is a is a is a good string to uh, to to fit. I would say and generate ball rotation. So racket strings, yes, accessories. Mm -hmm. So bags uh, will match perfectly the racket design. Love that. Uh, we love that. So, <laughs> yeah, so it's uh, and yes, and and the shoes will come a bit later. Mm -hmm. So we'll uh, we'll start with uh, racket strings, uh, bags, and accessories, and then later for uh, early, uh, let's say twenty three, uh, we'll have uh, yes shoes coming and some some apparel as well. Nice. So it's very important to propose the full equipment to uh, tennis lovers and, yes. uh, and pure IO players, of course. Yes, I love it. And you reminded me, we hit on strings. Um, what would you say are the best strings? Can you walk me through some of the new strings? Uh, this 90, I think this is the 98, has this amazing hybrid that looks so good. Yeah. Talk to me about the Babolat strings that we can be stringing with, we should be stringing with. What should we be trying? Yeah, so as I said, the pure, um, the, the RPM rough mm -hmm. is, a, is a very good option for, I would say, Competitive players and uh, players that expect uh, spin durability, so it's uh, it's important. Then, of course, for rackets like Pure Aero 98, uh, you can combine with a, a poly uh, and um, and a multi. So we have uh, in the range uh, a, a good string that that play like a multi. It's the RPM soft, mm -hmm. which is uh, the material of, of multi filament. It's polyamide, so which is a material of, of multi filaments. So very soft, very flexible. So. Um, RPM soft, uh, we will come with a new color. Okay. We launch a new color, very, very matching the design of the racket. Uh, you will see. Yes. <laughs> uh, like a metallic gray. And um, yeah, I think with the RPM soft and RPM blast, I think those, those string, RPM rough, RPM blast, and RPM soft to mix mm -hmm. and use an hybrid could be some very good, uh, very good options to uh, yeah. to play with the, with the racket. Yeah. It seems like that's starting to trend. I. I think I've talked about it on episodes where some of the next gen players were starting to hybrid polys and polys, but now we're slowly starting to see like a soft poly and a firmer poly or 
a soft yeah. shaped poly or vice versa. Yeah. So yeah. playing around with the, the different materials. So the, the RPM of the specificity is really, it's a shaped mm -hmm. string and with this texture. So both generate more ball bite. Yes. And so can, can generate the, the ball rotation. Then it's a polyester string. So very durable. Uh, for players that break very often, so it's a it's it's a very good uh, combination with the racket, uh, the 300 grams, even even the the, the pure Aero 98, mm -hmm. and this is a Felix combination, for example. Yeah. Then uh, for some others, uh, we know that you can mix uh, RPM blast uh, is uh, is good. So you can play with full RPM blast, but uh, we worked on a kind of a, uh, evolution and progression with the string on the on, on the spin segments with the RPM rough. So we will we'll launch a, a, a hybrid mm -hmm. uh, with RPM Blast and RPM Soft. Uh, so RPM Blast is a polyester, so quite uh, stiff, durable, uh, and generates spin for players that have the, the capacity to, say, to bend the string. Mm -hmm. to, so it's, um, you can use this in, in mains. Mm -hmm. And if not, if you don't have the very fast swing, so you can use a softer string uh, so RPM soft, for example, RPM soft is not a polyester, is a polyamide. Okay. And polyamide is used uh, for multi-filament. Okay. Polyamide is uh, very flexible. Yes. And when you string the racket, you can you can feel it. So it's not uh, it's it's and it's not a soft polyester. It's uh, it's it's very something different, and we wanted to to propose something really different, really unique, because it's a monofilament structure, mm -hmm. but made of a material that is a material of multi-filament. So which, which provides a certain a great flexibility, mm -hmm. so very soft, and uh, durability. So which is a, a good, you can mix it with the RPM Blast on mains, for example, yeah. and you can put it the soft on crosses, and you have a softer impact. Uh, so then you can customize, I would say you can, uh, yeah, you customize the, the, the feeling from a full RPM soft mm -hmm. for the lightest model, for example. Then uh, you can mix uh, RPM soft and RPM blast, soft on mains and blast, blast on crosses, then blast on mains and soft on crosses, and then you can play with full blast or full RPM rough. Yes. So this is a kind of evolution in the, in the spin segment. I like how you explained that, and I like the idea of RPM soft and the, the lighter models that might be a little stiffer, but that doesn't mean they're going to be any like uncomfortable yeah because we know sometimes string is really important 100 <laughs> percent. string is really important i think it's uh we used to say it's uh 50 percent of the performance is the string and 50 yeah. percent is the frame so we we have to really to be careful in the combination of both especially on the lightest uh, model i think if you play with the polyester with a thing that maybe is too stiff and for your game you you can be hurt i think mean, you can mm -hmm. be injured and so it's uh so that's why it's important to uh yeah, to find the right combination. Uh, we proposed that evolution in the spin segment with very soft string, with RPM soft, it's like a multi-filament. So when you are young, you can play. Mm -hmm. I think it's good for players that are transitioning between the multi-filament world to polyester world. Definitely. I think. So they expect a bit more durability. Yeah. So, and before uh, using a polyester, this is a, this is a, the option we, uh, we we propose. This is a, on the ascending way or on descending way as well. So it works on, on, on both. I'd say. Nice, awesome. Okay. Well, did we miss anything about the pure arrow? <laughs> like, yeah, I think let me just yeah. I feel like we've yeah. talked about so much. Um, are you able to give us any sneak peeks on anything coming from Babylon? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, let's hear it. <laughs> actually, we we are yeah working on new generation of Rafa Rafa's rockets. Okay. Uh, we're pretty excited. <laughs> the second this episode goes live, we're going to be getting questions. When, how, what, all of the so, things. So, <laughs> yeah, maybe when it's uh, maybe tough to say. Uh -huh. Maybe it's too early, but yeah. no, we, we know... Um, as we did with the, with the first generation, so we worked in very close collaboration with Rafa. That's cool. About the design, mm -hmm. uh, about the playability, mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, yeah, it was a, a long process. Rafa is excited too. Nice. I think uh, yeah, you approved uh, the colors and decided the colors. Yeah, we'll come with something that is very unique. Okay. Um, that embodies a Rafa's game uh, with you know energy. Um, Rafa's personality. So it's, uh, yeah, we are very excited. So uh, 
yeah, the racket uh, was approved by by Rafa uh, a few months ago. So hey, we're wow. working on it. So it's coming soon. I mean, you, you 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 will you will know more and stay tuned you will know more in the <laughs> for you in september october you okay, will know more okay. and then yes it's going to be next year okay. that's uh the launch is next year but hmm, yeah you, I, you, I, will, you will, I feel like you, i might know you, but... <laughs> will, you will get more information on uh, okay. uh september october but yeah we are very excited nice and he did he help with the current cosmetic on the pure arrow rafa like the pink and orange and yeah. the, he helped with that yeah okay so if yeah. that's what he he chose the colors. Okay, so if that's his his design, yeah. So we can expect something very fun. For sure. So <laughs> it, it was it was a base. Then Rafa Rafa gave a feedback. Oh, I love it. And what what just he just gave guidelines. So what I want. It's a, that's awesome. This is this, and uh, so we made it. So okay. uh, Yeah, we are we are very excited. Well, yeah. it seems like a lot of people like what Rafa likes because I was told at BMP Paribas Open when we had our tent that like. All of those cosmetics sold out and people were buying lighter rackets just because they wanted that cosmetic and then they were going to change the, you know, add some weight or whatnot. But like the bags have gone crazy. The rackets have gone crazy. So that's exciting. Yeah, very exciting. for sure. So. Awesome. Yay. I, I know we're all very excited. Also, I have to say the biggest question I've probably gotten for the last six months is about the Pure Arrow update. So I'm very excited that people can finally start to see it. They'll see it on court at the US Open and it's out there. It's going to be, it's really cool that we've got all the different models and for sure. the 98 is now part of the Pure Arrow line. I'm very excited about that. I got to hit them last week and I really like them. I'm, I've always liked Babylon rackets. I played with uh, Babylon in college, so I've always kind of been drawn. I'm more of a pure dry person, so when we get that update, we're gonna have to reconnect. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but I'm um, very excited about the new pure arrows. And is there anything else that we need to let the listeners know about? Yeah, it's so we know we work with two years, so mm -hmm. we we, st we started, you know, yesterday. Yes, I know. We <laughs> got to do. I, yeah. I don't know how much. With I some of the rackets for uh, <laughs> yeah, for longer period, but uh, no, no, it's. Um, yeah, no, we are we are on it. I think we are focused now on twenty four and twenty five. So, That's crazy. <laughs> which is we, yeah, which is uh, we just presented the yeah twenty three uh, collection, and so we, we are still in the middle of the process for twenty four, and, and then we 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 start very soon twenty five collection. So, nice. yeah, no, it's. Uh, it's well, cool. It's cool. Uh, yeah, and maybe uh, we can just talk a little bit about our playtest. I'm not going to say any racket names or whatnot, but you guys came with four blacked out rackets. They were all strung identical. They all had identical racket grip handles. Um, everything was identical except they had different layups. Exactly. And uh, the four of us got to hit them and... We gave our feedback and one of the rackets that was blacked out was the inline racket. So it was really cool to be able to hit the different ones and kind of notice different things about each one. What's even cooler is that like we all kind of agreed on things, <laughs> which always makes us feel like a little bit like, oh yeah, we, we got this. So, and it sounds like what we found is similar to what you're finding with your bigger play tests that yeah. are going on. So yeah. that's cool too. Yeah, no, for sure. It's uh, as as uh, as we talked and it's yesterday. It's uh, it's part of the process. Uh, so yes, we are uh, in the second run of the prototypes. Uh, we are getting ready, quite ready. So we we know we have in mind some options that mm -hmm. could be very good. And now it's important to yeah to have some tests uh, mm -hmm. with 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 players. Uh, and um, yeah, I think it's uh, just to confirm which of which option is the best. Yeah. And so, yeah, we are we are excited too because yeah, it, it went well, and yeah. so it confirmed that what we had in mind uh, in the brief, we wanted to work on some different aspects on the, on, on the next uh, generation of rackets. Yeah, so it's um, it did on it the went well. Page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I you don't have to answer this, but will flax fibers be used moving forward in Babylon rackets? Uh, okay. <laughs> can I have a joke, <laughs> No, it's we worked on different technologies for sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when a technology is is really good and and has, a, I would say, a, a strong benefit, then yeah, I think we are not we are open maybe to to use it in for the other pillars or other. We test many things, mm -hmm. and I think it's uh, the most important is what the player f mm -hmm. feel. And so, uh, being a, being a club player, being a pro player, this is we make racket for tennis lovers, and we make racket for uh, for 
player that they enjoy playing and they perform using the racket. And so the, the playability is very important. And then we worked as well on, on the design to, to have beautiful rackets too. And so the design is important too. But playability is important and we need to test that and make sure that what we tested in laboratory is confirmed on the course. Yeah. Which was quite good, yeah. So <laughs> yesterday, yesterday we were we were very happy. Yeah. And it can be tough when you have a good racket and you have to do an update. Yeah. It's not easy. It's a big challenge because uh, it's a good question. It's a, it's, a, yeah. it's a big challenge because we know some players yeah, they get used to the racket. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. sometimes they don't want to change. <laughs> or to change. <laughs> so if you propose something that is too different, mm -hmm. um, so so it's it's true for players using the racket or for the pure aero community, for example, then the idea, of course, is to <laughs> to catch other players. I think right. it's... Uh, so we need to, every time, to to find the right balance, I would say, uh, because uh, we need to, to keep the base and strong base um, with current players and, and then, yes, get a good product that uh, get a, and catch other players, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, uh, yeah, this is the objective. So this sometimes, yeah, it's, 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 it's a challenge. It can be, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. sure. Um, well, you're doing a great job, you and your team and everyone back in Lyon. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and thank you so much for joining. And when's the official launch? When will people be able to pre-order and get their hands on these rackets? The new Pure Aero, yes, it's uh, it's coming in uh, end of August. End of August. Uh, end of August, early September. Yeah. And US Open starts end of August. Will end we of August. see it? Yeah, during, during US Open. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we'll see it. We'll be ready. Get yeah. everyone excited. Um, awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. I love hearing all about the the evolution of these rackets and how they get tested and how they come to market. That's yeah. really fun. So thanks thank you for, for the invitation. Thank course. you very much. Anytime. And thanks you guys. Thanks everyone for listening, watching and to get your pure arrow, head to Thomas Warehouse. Yeah.